Good morning, everybody. My name is uh, Sylvie Poulikin. I'm the co-chair of the Argo Data Management team since its creation in 2000. Uh, I will be presenting today the Argo Data Management system and how it has been improved to be able to handle Argo BGC Argo data. So, since the start, the Argo data system has been designed in order to serve both the scientific research community that is interested in high quality data and the operational services that, are, that need to have real time data stream as well as deliver data stream for realizers. Since the beginning, the Argo data system has been made of a free and open data policy, which means that all the data are available without any registration as soon as they have been processed. So the two data stream are the three, in fact three data stream are as following. A real-time data stream that provide access within 12 hours from acquisition to to profile data that have been automatically assessed through a set of quality control tests and that are aiming at serving the operational applications that need to have rapid access to the data. The purpose of the automatic QC test is to detect obviously bad data, but it's true that potentially suspicious data can go through. In terms of delay mode, then the data goes with through a scientific assessment that is done within 12 months from acquisition that looked in at the complete time series analysis and corrections and that aims at detecting bad sensor behavior and be able to correct to propose a correction if possible but at least to to flag as uh, as bad the data that are obviously bad and then there is uh, another step that is uh, consists of basin scale consistency check that looked at a batch of float in an area and checked if they are consistent with each other and also consistent with other recent data that are available in the area. So the way the Argo data system is managed at international level, float, send the measurements to the deck where raw data are processed, and then the DAX sends to two GDAX, one located in Coriolis in France and one located in the Miracle Center in the US. The purpose to have two GDAX is that allows that, that all the data are always available to, to everybody because none we it had then happened in the past 20 years that both the GDAX were down at the same time. Uh, another important element is the Argo Information Center that is managed by OceanOps that allows the registration of the float prior to deployment to, in order to comply with the IOC Resolution 26. That um, manage also information, metadata information on the profiles themselves and ensure monitoring of the fleet when it's at sea. So how the, the Argo data system that has been developed for pressure, temperature and salinity has been extended to manage BGC parameters, oxygen, chlorophyll, backscatter, nitrite, pH and irradiates. The Argo vocabulary has been extended. The data format has been enhanced in order to manage the BGC variables. Real-time QC quality control uh, procedure has been developed for the six variables and also implemented in the 11 DAX. De the delay mode quality control procedure for the six variables are still under development but are progressing well. And the sharing of tools is made also on collaborative platform. The purpose is that wherever the data are processed, they are processed in a consistent manner so that they can be used easily by the, the different uh, from the GDEX. 
VGC data system requires the additional manpower and expertise in order to reach the ocean health and climate challenges that we are facing. And the delay mode data processing need to be funded and organized at the international level, and this point is still under development. What is different between the BTC and, uh, and the core missions is that real-time data stream for BTC is even more challenging than the one developed for pressure and temperature and salinity. While very few pressure, temperature and salinity measurement need adjustment in real time at the early stage of their lifetime, nearly all BGC data needs to be adjusted in real time. An automated real-time adjustment for all BGC variables is still under development as we need to have enough BGC data at sea in order to build robust procedure to be implemented in 11 DAX. So be cautious with raw BGC data and focus on adjusted or delay mode data in your, in your application. The Argo data management system is managed uh, by an Argo data management team that is organized at international level that gather about 100 persons all over the world. And that is form of DAC representative and scientists and also a specific BGC Argo data management team has been set up in order to complement in terms of expertise the, the, the expertise needed for BGC development. This data management team meet annually for a full week to discuss Argo data related issues as well as to agree on data format, data correction and methods, quality control procedures. Argo data follow an open and free data policy and in order to, to track the use of the Argo data, we use uh, this, and it's important to acknowledge the use of Argo in your publication. Through this monitoring of the publication, we are able to show the value of Argo for the scientific uh, research. Since uh, the start of Argo, nearly 4,700 papers have been uh, published since the late 90s for the core, for the Argo in general. And if you look at the BGC Argo, even if we are still in the pilot phase of BGC Argo, already nearly 300 papers have been published and we see that we are in the same exponential curve of uh, increasing public publication based on BGC Argo as the ones we experienced for our Argo uh, in the past 10, 20 years. So going concretely, how do you, how the files are organized at the, at the GDAC and how can you access to the data? GDAC organized with three main folders. The DAC folders that sort the data by data assembly center. The geo folders that sort the data by ocean basin and the latest data follows that includes the most recent data, the data for the latest month. For each of these directory, you, you have index files that contain the metadata on each Argo data file and uh, that are contained in the data in geo folders as well as in the latest. And the gray list file contains a list of floats that are likely to have a sensor problem and that you should be using if you want to discard the floats that may have sensor problem in your application. Finally, there is another directory that is called OX that contains the data from experimental sensors that are sensors, sorry, that are not yet labeled as Argo sensors because they don't have enough uh, float at sea to, to be able to, to assess their quality. The official Argo data are available in GDAC in NetCDF file, complying with the, Net, with the CF convention. And, um, and you find so the, the, the real the, the, the files in four different uh, type of files, the trajectory in trash files, the, meta, the metadata in meta files, the profile in the profiles, 
and the tech, technical information in a tech file. You have it for the in each directory with the full time series of the lifetime of the float and in the profile directory, profile by profile. If a delay mode quality control has been performed, then you have in the file the adjusted fields that are made available and also the file as a name of, you have a D in front of the file. Each parameter is associated with a QC flag, but be aware that all the data are kept in the files so you need to use a QC file in order to sort out the data that are good or bad. So in real time, the Q, if only automatic QC has been applied, you, you find this QC information on the, on the for example, for doxy, in doxy underscore QC. If an adjustment has been made in real time, for example, for doxy variables, an automati uh, automatically apply a gain correction has been done, then you find the, inform the QC information in doxy adjusted QC. And similarly, if a delay mode QC has been applied, you find it in doxy adjusted QC. What the QC flag tells you is that to, to be on the safe side, only use the data with QC flag equal to one and discard systematically all the data with QC flag equal to four. Then using, if you, you can use the other type of data, but with questions. All the information about the QC applied are available in the manual described here. So the philosophy for the BGC data is the same as for the core Argo, except that we have two additional files that are made available. The B file that contains all the information required by the profile by the profiled variables as well as the biological information. And then the S prof synthetic profile that contains all the BGC variables along with the same pressure axis. This synthetic file has been designed to facilitate the use of BGC data. The goal of a simplified synthetic profile is to collocate as many BGC observations as possible while preserving the character of the sampling pattern. For example, sample, sample interval, number of samples, and approximate pressure location. So, as an advice, use these synthetic files for your application. They are much easier to, to manipulate and to use. A set of data access and services has been set up from the GDAC, the basic FTP server. Uh, GDAC snapshots that are with a, with a DOI that are easy to, to refer to in your publication. A synchronization system that allows you to, to have a copy of the GDAC on your own computer more easily. A thread and an RDAP server that allows you to do setup, to do subsetting uh, using these services. And interactive data selection that, uh, that I will describe in the next slide. And you also, we have also recently set up an, a Python library that, uh, that is developed as a collaborative tool. The data selection, it allows you to, ha to have uh, to do some selection based on spatial, temporal, by parameter, by QC, by DAC, and so on, by a year of deployment, or only the good data, for example. It, it provides export on the CMEMS, Oceanside NetCDF file, in ASCII files, and also on the Argo, Argo NetCDF format. It allows also data visualization. All the general information Argo are available on the Argo website, and all the manual are available on the Argo data management website available. Thank you, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact uh, the service desk that we have at Coins.